Yo, what's going on guys? DJS here, bringing you guys a random gameplay and commentary. Uh, gameplay, Modern Warfare 3, um, just playing through some kill confirmed and stuff, but commentary-wise, I wanted to do a commentary on uh, my thoughts on the Walking Dead episode last night. Uh, last night was kind of an interesting one. If you guys like this idea of me doing this um, every now and then, leave a comment, let me know. Uh, but uh, but yeah, I mean, I've been obviously an avid fan of uh, the Walking Dead. I'm a fan of zombies as well, as you guys know from my channel for the most part. But um, but I thought it would be kind of fun to give you guys a recap, or my thoughts at least, on uh, episodes and stuff. And last night's episode was kind of crazy, so heads up, spoiler alert for those that haven't watched the episode. It won't be spoiler free because it's kind of hard to talk about the episode without uh, having some spoilers out there. But uh, So last night's episode was pretty crazy, man. It was, it was something that was really kind of neat to see uh, Daryl's story finally. We have finally have Daryl's story after all this time of what he did before the zombie apocalypse. Now, I did watch The Talking Dead um, as well. It's something I recommend highly that you end up watching if you if you watch the show uh, to watch The Talking Dead afterwards because it really is great to see. Um, last night's episode was solely um, only about Daryl and uh, and Beth, Beth Green, the farmer's daughter, the youngest one. And it's, it's crazy because it was literally just those two and then their kind of story on on where they are and in, in in the the whole zombie thing and it's it's nuts because like we're used to seeing a whole bunch of different people and a whole bunch of different dynamics happening in one episode so it's like kind of jam packed full of stuff and now all of a sudden it's like we're just we're seeing one or two people and and uh, and just getting small updates from some specific peoples and stuff and I think that it's sometimes it can be drawn out and it's kind of I don't want to say boring but it's kind of drawn out to some extent and uh, I know there's a guy camping down the backside there so I was trying to be careful but yeah so 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 it feels kind of drawn out and uh, that can be frustrating at times but at the same time uh, it is like like in right there I was like god oh, dang it I ended up dying uh, it is something that uh, that is good because you get the more character development on people that you haven't had before and, and it was really really good to see kind of Beth come out of her shell and you get more um, regard or like surrounding Beth, and Beth is is one of those characters that has been primarily quite a weak character. I mean, she's a young, younger teenage girl. I think she was 16 um, in the story. Uh, the actual actress Emily uh, is what is it? Emily Kin Kinney or whatever. She's actually like 28. I was like, what the hell? She looks so young. But in the story, she starts off like 16, and then she's like 18 by season four, and now she's uh, and now she's 19. I guess in season five or whatever it is, but like, so now she's like kind of grown up and so she wants alcohol and stuff. And, and, uh, I think it's just, it's interesting to see, um, her and Daryl paired together because it's almost like the strongest character. And there's a nice little trip jab. Oh, yeah, buddy. Um, uh, I miss the javelin so much on modern warfare three. It's kind of fun, but, but, uh, it's like pairing the, the, the strongest character with almost the weakest character. And even with her dad, like missing one leg, like, like he was still like a stronger character than her, uh, but but it gives her some shine and it shows that she does have some strengths and stuff and and she is like one of those people that um, has a, a, a definitely a strong voice so definitely cool to see that happen. Also really really cool to see Daryl's backstory. Just to finally get some sort of a backstory from Daryl was awesome, um, and it, it's even crazier because his backstory is like him he didn't do anything and he mentioned it in the in the Talking Dead. Like, the fact that, like, everybody was kind of wondering what he did before. Did he go to jail? Was he, like, uh, just an escaped convict? Or, what? you know, what was his function before? And um, we, nobody really knew. And and to find out he really wasn't doing anything. He was just nomading around, hanging out with his brother and stuff. Like, it was like, oh, wow. It's like, it is kind of powerful to see because it, even though he hates kind of the, the current world zombie apocalypse, he, he has a sense of purpose or he has had a sense of purpose. And um, you see that he has a lot of remorse for what happened back at the prison. And it, it really, it really, uh, there was a couple scenes where, like at first, again, the, the first part of the episode, I thought it was kind of boring. But then as it as it continues on, uh, the whole scene where they're inside the, the trailer house and they're drinking and, and they're playing, um, like, uh, the, the whatever the game was that they were playing, asking questions and stuff. And, and then all of a sudden it gets to the point where he freaks out and you, you find out, like, you know, he really has had a bum, bum childhood, just a really a, not a very fun childhood, not a very fun life um, up to this point. And uh, you, you, f you feel really sorry for him. Um, at first you felt kind of sorry for, for Beth at the beginning because you're like, 
man, like, how can Daryl be such a, an asshole to her? She just lost her father. Like, obviously, seeing him get, de like, decapitated is just kind of ridiculous. Like, it's kind of painful to deal with. And she needs a friend. She really does need a friend. She needs um, somebody to uh, to have some faith in into what they're doing. And Daryl's not providing any of that. I mean, he's he's silent the the entire beginning of the episode. So it was kind of interesting to see her, him him go from being really silent to him getting really angry, and and really letting his true colors kind of shine through, and let people know that you know what, like, um, I don't know, he, he just didn't have a very good childhood. He never got a Christmas present. He never like there was a lot of things that that never happened, and uh, it just you just felt you felt for him. And then he has a breakdown goes outside and he's a really quite aggressive with 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 uh beth and you feel like you you start to go what the hell and then you can see him break down. he did a phenomenal job acting in that episode and you can see him break down and when she just comes up behind him and hugs him like there was something about that that was like really quite powerful and, and I, I thought it was something else man like surprisingly um it was it was very well played and and it, it worked uh very very well in, in my opinion so that's kind of like my thoughts on it i think it was a great episode uh, Daryl's one of the strongest characters in the in the in the show. It would be hard to see if he ever actually ends up um, if they end up ever cutting him. I don't think that they would, but you never know with that show on what ends up happening. But uh, but it was definitely a great show, man. Definitely really enjoyed it. Uh, hopefully you guys like this little bit of a recap. 47 and 5 on Modern Warfare 3. If you do, uh, leave a comment, let me know, and I can do them a little bit longer commentaries and go into kind of more thoughts on. Uh, on the episode in future direction and kind of predictions. Catch you guys later. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good Monday and TNT tomorrow. Later, guys. Peace.